Hi, Anim. How are you? Hello. I'm doing great. How are you? Great. Very good. Thank you. So, Ganim, could you tell us a little bit about your story? Okay, so my name is Rana Mostalai. I live in Qatar, Doha, um, and I'm 24 years old. I've been um, very, very passionate about just well-being and, 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 and the healthy lifestyle and trying to find answers uh, that can make my life a bit more um, you know, uh, I want my life to make sense. So I find I found a lot of amazing things out there for me to explore and for me to go and and um, you know to to just uh, open up a lot of opportunities in front of my you know in front of me for me to go and and just look for things and and try to find answers. And I think I found something that is very valuable and very. Um, um, precious and and it's exactly i feel like because i i found some kind of answers that makes my life easier which are you know related to food related to just myself and my body and my mind and i think at this age it just brought me so much uh, um understanding of, of the world around me and uh, so yeah i'm very very passionate about healthy lifestyle I, vegan for the past two and a half years. Um, I've just made a lot of transitioning in my life just for me to be healthier and, and be more conscious about what goes mm -hmm. into my body. Um, besides me being a tunnel engineer, um, um, a traveler, like fitness uh, enthusiast, I'm, I'm a human being, you know, I am a conscious living creature. I, I, I really want to live consciously and I think that's what is how you define me? I'm a conscious living creature. I think that's just what is all, what is it all about? Um, it's just how we can adapt in this kind of life or on this earth without affecting one another um, um, and and trying to promote this kind of you know well-being um, vibes uh, all around us. And uh, and uh, yeah, that's just that's a bit of about me, but. Uh, yeah, I'm, 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 there's a lot of definitions if you say, well, like, what is really on? But I think that's that's how I see myself now. Like, I feel like I I grew a lot in the past couple of years. I've traveled so, in, like, into so many, like, around the world. I've been traveling for the past two years, like, to around, like, 17 countries, exploring cultures, exploring um, um different traditions and meeting new people and getting to know that um, that we are all in this together but we mm -hmm. live in bits of part of the of the of the earth that we don't seem to you know uh, like we don't seem to have this kind of it feels like we are we are living really far but we are all living like very close together and we have the same kind of common um, you know uh, uh, characteristics and, 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 and behaviors. And I think when I traveled, I saw that. And I think we connect we connect in so many different ways with so many people. I mean, I'm talking to you now from across the world. And I think just that's just amazing to see the interaction that we can have here nowadays with this modern um, stage. So there's a lot of amazing, amazing things happening. And uh, yeah, I'm just super, super excited to be like part of this project. Good. Um how did you start it with this? What, what, well, what, why did you decide to become vegan two years ago? Okay, um, I think one of the most important thing is just, I've been always, always trying to find the next, like I've been always like healthy, uh, 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 just trying to be like more healthy. Like even when mm -hmm. I was a kid, I was always trying to find the healthiest option just for the sake of the word, you know, itself. But I, I didn't understand that healthy can be um, uh, seen in many different way. And um, I, uh, maybe the, the, the thing that triggered the change is the exposure that I have because I've graduated from Drexel University in Philadelphia um, and mm -hmm. I lived for four years in the United States. Um, I think the, um, that triggered the change because I was exposed to a, like a bit of a, a, like a different culture a different environment, an environment that allows creativity, 
allows change, allows, uh, um, like, it just expose you to so many different diets around you, so many different options that you can choose whatever you want, and then you can, you know, have a, 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 that kind of transition easily because I don't have any influence of the culture that I have or my family. Or so it was a bit of a, of a phase that I I used so I can explore my options. And um, yeah, I came across Good Morning America one day and uh, was seeing that book. Um, it's a one of our famous author, um, Kimberly Snyder, and um, she actually. Um, she actually uh, like inspired me like through that TV, sh like th just through that interview that she had. And I went and I got the book from Barnes and Nobles and I started reading that book. The first thing I read is like, cut out dairy from your diet. And I was like, oh my God, I'm not, that's not gonna happen. I closed the book, put it back again. <laughs> it's just that really, cause it, it, was, it was a bit funny because I've never heard of something like that. And mm -hmm. um, to have this kind of, um, shock to my beliefs and to what I really was raised on and what my family taught me to do and now finally like somebody saying that's just it's the other way around and mm -hmm. it felt like I was um you know I was like lost a bit I was like like when I saw that I was like oh there's something there that is missing there's something mm -hmm. there that is not like nobody told me and nobody have said anything. So I felt, let me go and explore. So I started reading and reading and reading and it just, I evolved with it. It didn't happen in one day. It just, it, it went through phases. It went through transition and I felt better every time I did something about my diet. It felt amazing that I'm including more vegetables, which I didn't do before. Uh, I didn't know the value of vegetables and fruits and, and whole foods and, 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 and just being on a, on a, on a, on a, on a healthy diet. Um, healthy for me was just like, you know, a piece of steak grilled or, or with, with a side of, you know, just broccoli or something like that. That's mm -hmm. just like the, but nowadays it's just more on a cellular level. Like it feels, I know, like now I, I became more connected to the food where the, when the food comes to my body like it reaches so many different aspects rather than just like my hunger you know so I, it feeds my soul it feeds my mind it feeds and then it's just like a ripple effect it feeds everything around me you know so um yeah i feel like that's triggered the change and and um it just because i was feeling better that's how i continue doing it and that's why i'm sticking uh with it today so I can see uh, on your Facebook page that you promote this lifestyle. Mm -hmm. What are your projects okay. there in Doha? Um, pretty much, I'm like, as I said, I'm an engineer. So I started like just, when I graduated, I came back and I started working here. Just a normal, mm -hmm. like, um, I mean, it's a very exciting job for sure. I work with the biggest project in Doha, the Doha Metro project. And it's huge. It's amazing. Just being at this young age and being like, able to work in this huge project is absolutely amazing. But then when you have, like when you leave work, there's a whole different life out there. You have to eat, you have to exercise, you have to, there's a, a lot of requirement, like a lot of, um, 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 you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, things in life that you should, you know, uh, do to mm -hmm. your body. You should take care of your body because that's the, you're going to, going to leave this, I mean, you're going to end up with your body, so you have to really take mm -hmm. care of it. So it just, because I was going the, through the transition, I, I really documented the, the, whole, um, the whole process. And I usually document my life through social media. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. Like, I love documenting my life because I feel like it's, there's a, a precious moment out, like, around us amazing amazing memories that we keep forgetting and sometimes you want to just go back and live those moments and i think social media nowadays and 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 just the technology is absolutely amazing for us to you know to to document these kind of amazing you know moments in our life and i feel like that's how i go through them when i when i lay on bed at night i was like oh i remember that and i can go there and mm -hmm. live that moment because i documented in a way that I have it written all there. I have a 
beautiful like visual that I can relate to. So it gives me some kind of energy for the long run. Um, so yes, I'm documenting my life through the process and it just became some kind of a, uh, a lot of people came around. I mean, where, where, where they were interested and, 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 and seen me grow through the change. Mm -hmm. So then I started like putting this as a priority in my life, like not just promoting it, but living it truly to myself. And then it's going to automatically transfer to everyone around me uh, without me pushing them, without me forcing anybody to make the change. But it's just going to be as normal and as smooth uh, message that I send to people without having me, you know, knocking on their head or, or you know. Um, so I feel like that's what happened. So I, uh, a lot of the projects that I've been, I'm doing nowadays is pretty much, um, um, I mean, is all comes in the same um, category, which is like trying to just raise awareness of conscious living. And that's what I've been doing. I'm just like trying to raise awareness of conscious living and being conscious eater. Um, so yeah, I'm doing a lot of amazing um, events where I, visit colleges and universities and, and talk to students and which I can relate because I've been a student three years ago, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's not like, <laughs> yes. it's like 10 years or 20 years. So I feel mm -hmm. like it's just, I can relate so much to the students and I can um, see what, how, you know, what are the tips that I can give to them? And that I think that's what started, where it started, where the whole thing started. St people started asking me to come and actually talk to the public and public events. And um, it just started to grow bit by bit. And um, I, for me, I started like, I started to educate myself a bit more because I wanted to be like so strong, powerful. My beliefs are, I want to believe in something that is quiet, uh, mm. strong, you know, and, 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 and that's my foundation. So, I mean, if you see like behind me, I have like tons of books that I've been like reading and and I went like to take a couple of courses here and there just to make myself like a bit more, um, um, you know, uh, just a bit more competent, you know? And um, yeah, doing that, it just led me to one kind of path, which is, I just announced that yesterday, but I'm, I'm actually opening my first vegan restaurant in Qatar, mm -hmm. uh, hopefully in May of this <laughs> year. And, um, it's just, it's not about opening that vegan restaurant. It's, it's about putting this whole community, you know, creating this whole community mm -hmm. of healthy seekers and, and people who are um, really, really passionate about, you know, just healthy lifestyle and he well-being. Um, I want to create that kind of platform. I feel like Doha is, very, is ready to have this kind of change for people to come and, 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 and interact and engage and share this kind of amazing mm. knowledge that we have here. Um, so that, yeah, there's a lot of amazing things out there. So I think I have different projects. So one of them is going through, you know, just, I mean, actually opening my own business, you know, and then mm -hmm. uh, that's, uh, which is the most important right now, uh, having my job, of course, I mean, on the side and uh, um, also just being an influencer. I feel like that's, that's what is happening. I'm, I mean, I'm writing my book right now. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a lot of amazing, amazing things with, with so many um, um, organizations here in Doha uh, in regard to organic, grow, uh, you know, uh, uh, plant, planting and, 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 and growing your organic produce um, in regard to how, I mean, mm. I, got, yeah, I got a bit of a, um, an amazing, um, like, team around me. I feel like there's a lot of nice people here. Um, and we're growing, and I think we're we're a bit growing, and I think there's a lot of potential here in Doha. Um, a, a lot of people are really scared about the next move that I'm gonna make, like you know, just opening the whole thing, because people are not ready. They feel they're not ready, but I know they're ready. Like I know they mm -hmm. want the change, because the change happened everywhere in the world, but not in Doha. So I think mm -hmm. we are ready. Yeah. Cool. That sounds amazing. That sounds a great project and a great vision for your for your community that can actually just start expanding not only there in Doha, but around the world. Exactly, what, exactly. What I feel we like want. we're starting in the GCC. That's, I think, a very um, um, strategic, like, or actually it's, it's just the, 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 uh, the location itself, like being 
closer to a community where we were, um, I think where we're like, we always connect culture with our food, which is quite nice, but it led us to so many different um, health issues because the way we misuse the food nowadays and, and, mm. and, and how we are not, uh, I mean, we're not comparing how our ancestors lived here with how we are living today. And we're saying, oh, our culture is something, but like our ancestors lived in a different kind of situation where that led them to do what they did, you know? Mm -hmm. And now when you compare that now or nowadays with the accessibility of food and, and how, how, how it's easy to grab something and put it on your plate, that's just not the same story. So that's, I think, where I'm trying to raise awareness to people as to, yes, we have a, a very nice tradition and, and our culture is like with food and stuff, but it's just not, it's not as easy as just saying, oh, let's just follow our tradition nowadays and be like, oh, I'm, 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 I belong to, you know, this kind of culture with, with this kind of food. No, don't connect food with that because that's a, that's a, it's a human behavior to react to its environment and our environment has changed nowadays and we live in a very modern easy accessible and that's why i don't we don't want i don't want people to take it for granted you know like let's use it wisely but at the mm -hmm. same time keep our keep ourselves grounded and keep ourselves you know um uh balanced um now about the book that you that you, you are um, we are promoting the what's left to eat. Mm -hmm. What called you about this project? Like, what it, you mean? What is like? What called yeah. you to this project? Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So I I met a, um, I went to the opening of one, uh, the launch of the one crazy broccoli book, and mm -hmm. that's when I met like most of the authors, and that's when mm -hmm. they introduced me to this mm -hmm. to the, to actually be part of this new book. Um, I was super super excited. I mean, anything that send that that brings my message to a bigger platform mm -hmm. is something good for me. You know, not just good for me because it's going to give me so much expo exposure, but it's more on i feel that when my message is being heard that's when is like i i did it like that's that's what my goals that are, where my intentions is like it's just to deliver my messages to reach i want to reach people um but i think i want to also create the change you know i want to see the change and mm -hmm. and to see that is 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 by getting these kind of yeah. you know amazing amazing um opportunities that brought me and when i heard this just the idea of the book it felt like really great i mean that's that's just amazing that's just the perfect place for me to 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 promote my healthy living lifestyle and mm -hmm. uh, and i think by sharing recipes from all over the world i think that's just the variety of people the different backgrounds different cultures different you know, uh, uh, believes and and uh, and uh, it's just that's the amazing part of it. You know, like it's how we are all collaborating in this one project to promote healthy in many different uh, uh, definitions, and um, each one have his own experience. And it's up to the readers to relate mm -hmm. to any of us. You know, like you don't have to relate to one of us, but you can relate to all of us. You know, and have like mm -hmm. kind of a diverse um maybe let's say a, a approach to mm -hmm. to people rather than just focusing them on on one kind of topic and and i it's not in the market i didn't see it you know like you don't you don't see that kind of uh mm. diversity when you get a book nowadays you get mm -hmm. when you get a book it's specific it's for one thing but like with what's left to eat there's, there's a lot of um, like different beliefs which I totally respect and I think it's it's um, just shows the diversity that we live in this world nowadays you know what is your favorite food what is the thing that it's never missing from your kitchen never 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 missing no. oh well there's a lot of things that are never missing <laughs> but lately I'm in love with sweet potatoes so sweet potatoes mm -hmm. everywhere um, that's what I like I feel like that's the only I mean I don't 
if you like you can't like I don't answer these questions with like a dish I answer it with a mm-hmm. with a, a real whole food because I feel like yeah. it is it, like that's exactly how it's in, God intended us to eat it so I feel like when it comes from the ground that's how I'm gonna eat it rather than just mm-hmm. putting it somewhere and like uh and 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 and, and take it from its natural uh look <laughs> but yeah sweet potatoes and the second one will be like coconuts and and it's so many variation with mm. oil or meat or water anything but it's coconuts um, <laughs> okay. yeah, these two I think that are the most favorite like nowadays and I think they're amazing I mean who doesn't love them you know yeah well I'm not in love with sweet potatoes but really I do love co- <laughs> yeah you they're not my favorite them. thing you should, try huh? them. You, should, you should have them a bit more I think it's uh, yeah it's at um it's very, it's a very, um, uh, change the taste part of it, but it takes mm-hmm. time to get used to it. Yeah. But, mm. Well, um, could you give the people that your contact link so they can reach you, whatever questions they have for you or of for course. your uh, social media? I mean, I, um, just launched my new website, which is, uh, uh the spelling is G H A N I M. A L S U L A I T I dot com. Um, mm-hmm. I share most of my recipes there, and and most of my travel itineraries, and 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 a uh, lot of amazing things about my whole lifestyle. Um, the best, best, best way to actually follow my journey is Instagram. That's where I usually do it. Instagram and Facebook. That's what I share most of my mm-hmm. daily, you know, um, activities and 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 uh, projects. And um, so my Instagram is at uh, Ghanim92, G-H-A-N-I-M-9-2. Um, mm-hmm. My Facebook is just my name. Um, um, you can you can all find these links on my website. So once you go on my website, you're going to have all my social media platforms. Um, and my new restaurant's called Evergreen Organics. Uh, mm-hmm. And um, you can find it on Instagram too at evergreen underscore organics. Um, we are super, super excited to, you know, to have this kind of new platform and I invite you all like for listening out there to, you know, come and follow our journey. It's absolutely amazing to see this sprouting in the Middle East, you know, um, in, a, in, a, in a place where it's not used to sprouts. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm super excited. <laughs> oh, very good. I am so excited too, even though I won't be able to be there. Are you going to be Hopefully. excited for sure? <laughs> hopefully soon. hopefully soon i would love to travel over there soon amazing yes that would be amazing so thank you Ganim, so much for 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 this time you're welcome thank you so much and i'm really really excited for what's left to eat book to be out there for the people for the people to read and uh it is it is um very um you know it like to see how we grow as a community and how we grow as, as people is as t- like is just uh, mind blowing for me. So I'm I'm really grateful. Um, thank you so much for giving me this chance to be you know to just share my message on this platform. Thank you for sharing it. Appreciate it. It was very interesting. Amazing. Meeting.